the this question is from shivangi namaskaram sadguru the yoga practices that you have offered seem to be taking a long time to get me to enlightenment <laughs> are there shortcuts mm-hmm. It once happened, this was in another life. Shankaran Pillai decided to commit suicide. Because of the domestic situation. And uh, he drank poison and he was on deathbed. And he had written a will. The lawyers came and opened the will, he was still not going because the poison sometimes, you know, is slow depending on what kind of stuff you had. So the lawyer read the will and said everything that he has, his home, his wealth, his bank balance, everything is to his wife. Under the condition that within three months after his death, she must remarry. Otherwise, she won't get anything. Lawyer said, this is a very strange will. Why is this like this? Shankaran Pillai said, I want at least one person to regret that I died. So it's taking a long time, so you must be hundred and fifty years old. How old is Shivangi, we don't know. But I like the impatience, I like the impatience. If you're impatient, what you should do? You must work a little more diligently, a little more focused. Because what you're seeking is not in another galaxy. Here. Yeah. I we just forgot. Uh, this is a... This morning around 10.30, 11 o'clock, I suddenly decided we must do one painting for the yoga day. I completely forgot. Because this question brings this into focus. So you are in it, that's the whole problem <laughs> So what you're seeking is not far away, it's right here, within you and also around you. Why is it so difficult? Like I said in the very beginning, maybe you have this kind of a mind, but you want to be like that. Because intellect makes you exclusive. You know, we've been talking about Sadhguru exclusive. Intellect always wants to be exclusive. Emotion is inclusive. Maybe you have a ball. No, I'm not saying you're having a ball. I mean, you have a ball for an intellect. But if you try to go and cut with that ball, you will be a wrecker ball. You'll wreck everything, including yourself. Or uh, maybe you think you're a Kriya Yogi, but if you do Kapalabhati, it'll come <laughs> like this. <laughs> but you want to do Kriya Yoga, you only with energy, you'll shoot up. No, if you want to shoot up, you need lots of energy. Have you seen a rocket? 
you know, a spacecraft, a rocket, before it flies, the amount of energy it releases, enormous. With that probably you can run a thousand airplanes, all right, from here to wherever. But it just stands there and exhausts so much power. Because it wants to go very far, it's built up that kind of energy. So if you want to do Kriya and go somewhere, only Kriya and go somewhere, then you need that kind of energy. If you want to do only incisive jnana, then you would need a razor-sharp mind. But the easiest thing to cultivate for you is your emotion, because already you're getting frustrated, so you have emotion. The very fact that you're getting frustrated, you have emotion. It's only the emotion which makes you feel wonderful this moment, next moment horrible, next moment wonderful, next moment horrible. If this is happening, you must understand emotion is the most dominant factor of your life. With the mind, if you want to take yourself down, that also takes time. If you want to think yourself down, it'll take lot of time. If you want to think yourself up, that also takes lot of time. But emotion is not like that, it's a sappy liquid, it sloshes. Buchuk, it'll go up there, buchuk, it'll go down here. <laughs> so now we are trying to teach you how to stabilize. So don't get frustrated because it'll go Maybe a little more heat we must turn up on you. Wherever you are, Shivangi, really if you become Shiva's Anga, then no problem then no problem at all. <laughs> the work that is being done in the rural areas, our volunteers are doing a fantastic work, still feeding thousands of people every day. I want you to understand the effort it takes uh, to every day feed a few thousand people in a makeshift kitchen outside because we are not letting our volunteers who are working, uh, some of our brahmacharis, residents and other volunteers are working, we are not letting them come into the yoga center for the safety of the people who are here. Uh, but they are outside in some makeshift kitchen and sleeping in some quarters in the villages and every day they are making sure good food is delivered to a few thousand people every day for over nearly, I think, uh, about seventy-seven or seventy-eight days right now. So this Bhairava painting, we have again put it out for auction, is it there? Uh, the picture is there, please, can you put it up? Uh, right now, I think today uh, we... the auction has touched uh, eighty-four lakhs, but uh, there is time till fifth uh, of... Uh, July, which is the Guru Purnima, so uh, whoever can do, please do, because this money will be used to service uh, those disadvantaged people who have nowhere else to go. I know everybody has lost something in a time like this. For some of you, your wealth, your stocks might have go down, gone down, your profits might have gone down, losses might have happened, but I want you to understand there is a large segment of people in this country who will starve to death if we don't support them. So please, let's make this happen. It's eighty-four lakhs right now, but take it wherever you think it's worth it. And uh, okay, it's a completely organic painting, that there is no uh, any kind of paints in it. It is just uh, charcoal, lime, turmeric and uh, cow dung. How else to honor a bull? <laughs>